coronavirus, students cannot return to China until further notice. Upcoming national holiday and traveling restrictions. Wenjo University 2020 to 2021 scholarship review. International students resident permits renewal. The no drugs campaign in the nation of China. Caution on illegal work. Good evening, I'm Rubida Chimbrena and I am Ona Raja bringing you the eye on the news for 26 September 2020. Due to coronavirus, students cannot return back to China until further notice. Information reaching us indicates that as part of COVID-19 control and prevention measures and to protect your health and safety of students during this pandemic, students outside of China are not allowed to come back to China until further notice. When the official notice is released allowing students to come back to China, you will be required to do hair and urine test. Failure to do so or, or a positive results will lead to immediate actions taken by the school authority. Some continuing students share their thoughts about the new guideline. This is what they had to say. Because um, students are not allowed to come back and for the ones that are allowed to do um, online classes for six months, I think the school fee should be reduced one. And for the students that are not allowed to come back, first thing first, we need to consider if the African countries they are, that they are in, they can actually pay for the data services, the internet, those things. Those things we need to consider. I feel like students outside of China should come back because basically like they are being left behind. What we are learning in class is different. Like one-on-one -on -one interaction with the teacher is better than learning online. Considering the fact that we don't have, if I was at home and I wouldn't come back to school, I'd be very sad because I feel left out. Uh, others are going to class having fun whilst I'm at home doing online classes. Our students are not supposed to come back until the school notifies them. Uh, if I would have been in their shoes, I would have been sad. So I think that um, the idea of people not being allowed in China again is having both advantages and disadvantages. The disadvantages is that um, they can't attend class with us, but then the advantages is that, um, you know, it's for our own safety and the other countries um, are still trying to curb the coronavirus. All right, uh, we feel very sad that we don't have our fellow students here in China with us because we don't have that same in-class experience. Like before, we'd have a big class and we'd interact yeah, yeah, yeah. very well. And now we just so, so, so minimal, you know? Yeah. The Chinese national holiday is celebrated every year to commemorate the founding of the Chinese people. During this period, lots of large-scale activities are held nationwide. The seven-day holiday from 1st October to 7th October is called the Golden Week. During this season, a lot of Chinese residents travel around the world. As this year's Chinese national holiday approaches, everyone is making preparations on how to spend this festive season. Unfortunately, this year, continuing students in Wenzhou University are not allowed to travel outside Wenzhou City. The university therefore encourages the students to explore the city and participate in activities within the campus, taking the safety measures into consideration. Wenzhou University is committed to making scholarship opportunities available to all students who qualify. As it's been done for the past years, this year's scholarship criteria is currently under revision and review and will be announced soon. Earlier on this week, a notice was posted to the WeChat groups on FAQs of the scholarship criteria. Mr. Ethan, who is in charge of announcing international student scholarships, shed some light on the Wenzhou University scholarship schemes. Good morning, everyone. I'm going to have a brief introduction to the scholarship review this year for all the master students in 2017, 2018, uh, bachelor students, your scholarship will be reviewed by your major college. For 2019, uh, bachelor students, your scholarship will be reviewed by the College of International Education. I hope all of you can get scholarship as long as your behaviors and academic performance is good enough. Please stay tuned about the latest notice about the scholarship review, uh, including the presidential partial and Zhejiang government scholarship. So good luck to everyone.
and uh, uh, the most important thing you need to prepare in advance for the review is to check your scores and uh, absence in the academic system. If you if you can't log in the system, you need to contact your major college as soon as possible. Because once the application once the review is started, you cannot change the result. Students in China whose resident permit has expired or will be expiring soon are advised to renew their resident permit as soon as possible to avoid any serious troubles. Foreign students should know that the resident permit allows them to live and study in China for extended periods, usually longer than 180 days. To renew your resident permit, you first need to do your medicals, get a registration voucher from Office 219, register at the police station, and visit Office 225 for other supporting documents. Once you have these documents, you can go to the Immigration Office to apply for your new resident permit. It is the consistent standpoint and preposition of the Chinese government to strictly control drugs. According to Chinese law, drug abuse is illegal, drug trafficking is criminal, and drug production must be investigated. Smoking marijuana will cause physical and mental harm to the smoker, and threaten life and cause social harm. Smoking marijuana is absolutely forbidden in China. Fentanyl and opioid analgesics are similar with controlled drugs on excitation, hallucination, and anesthesia even more. Their efficacy is 5,000 times that of heroin and 10,000 times that of morphine. Please be vigilant, away from drugs, and not become a slave to drugs. College students involved in drug abuse will have the expulsion or even be punished by law. Building the right mindset and be cautious in making friends. We also need to be self-discipline, self-improvement, making our youth be healthy and taking an active part in the struggle against drugs. It is forbidden to bring marijuana, fentanyl, and other controlled drugs into China. Be initiative to accept drug testing and cooperating with the police when you have clues about drug-related crimes. Keep in touch with your counselor for your safety, keeping a good living habit, obeying the school rules and not going to places related to drugs. Being involved in drugs will lead you a mistake in life and it's illegal. From 2018 to 2020, reports have shown that several international students have been involved in illegal work. According to Article 80 of the Exit and Entry Administration Law of the People's Republic of China, any foreigner that is found working illegally shall be fined not less than 5,000 RMB but not more than 20,000 RMB. Where circumstances are serious, they shall be detained for not less than 5 days but not more than 15 days and shall also be fined not less than 5,000 RMB but not more than 20,000 RMB. All international students are advised not to participate in any illegal work or transactions outside the campus. Wow, that's a lot of money. I know. You wouldn't risk it. No. This is I Student Weekend News. Thank you everyone for watching. I'm Lindy Daichelena. And I am Mona Rajab. Please take care of yourselves and each other.